Welcome, everybody. Uh, Got to turn me on. There we go. Sorry, I pushed him up too quickly. <laughs> Told you. Good morning, everybody. This morning, um, we tried to put together a um, a uh, an interesting series of. Uh, instances where um, the concept of the multidisciplinary team is brought into play. And uh, there are many areas in our practices where, where um, the practice is enhanced and the patient's care is enhanced greatly by the involvement of a multidisciplinary team. And, uh, the, in, and in fact, I think as the new health care uh, mandates come down the pike, we're increasingly going to be leaning on uh, our colleagues to come up with um, a best multidisciplinary consensus decision about how to manage a patient uh, um, optimally so that uh, both the patient benefits, the healthcare system benefits, and we do it in the most cost effective and value driven way. So, um, there are three areas that we're going to focus on this morning. One is the concept of the, the uh, multi multidisciplinary team uh, to work on patients with heart failure and shock um, and chronic congestive heart failure as well. Uh, and the second will be building a team to, uh, to um, integrate renal denervation therapies into, into our hospitals. And the third will be uh, a focus on pulmonary embolism and venous thromboembolism and how to uh, build a multidisciplinary team that will ideally respond to patients with PE. So I actually am very excited about this, um, this whole concept. Um, in our place, uh, it's really taking off, and, and I think that uh, those that don't get onto this sort of team building um, uh, platform will, will be left behind, I think. Uh, so so um, with that, um, I've asked uh, Hari Nadu to uh, put together some discussion about the interventional heart failure team, and uh, he's done a great job. So, welcome, Harry. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Kenny. Um, so, I'm, I was asked to talk about interventional heart failure. What is it, and why it's important? Uh, it's a novel concept over the past few years. I have no relevant financial relationships. So, we all know that heart failure is an epidemic, and I think uh, as interventionalists, we sort of uh, outsource it to the heart failure colleagues and to the imaging colleagues and the general cardiologists. But the truth is, it is a structural problem, okay? And uh, we have to address.